What's up, YouTube? It's your boy, Daytrain Ron Dean. We're here again on another episode of Uncrowded Recruit. Today, we'll be talking about my first job I ever had in my life and that experience. So I'm excited to talk to you about it. So my first job was actually working at CC's Pizza uh, in Arkansas. And it was a, uh, I was a bus boy. And it was very, very, very strange times for me growing up. I was probably around the age of 17 and I really didn't know why I needed a job. My mom wanted me to stay out of trouble, so she suggested that I get a job for the summer so I don't have a lot of time on my hands to run the streets or be with the wrong crowds. So she's like, okay, get a job. This is gonna take up some of your time. Also put a little bit of money in your pocket and get, get you ready for your senior year. So throughout that summer, I spent Friday nights, Saturday nights, Sunday mornings, just working constantly on the weekends just to make sure I didn't get in trouble. And I was a busboy at CC. So essentially my job was to walk around, pick up the plates, sweep, clean up the tables, wipe down the tables with a rag, spray clean solutions on the tables to make sure that all the germs and all the <laughs> bacteria and all the food crumbs were cleaned up after customers came in and ate. It was a very humbling job because sometimes in the fast food restaurant business, people will look down on bus boys or look down on just anybody that works at a fast food place. And so it took me down to a place where I was very humble. I actually had to learn how to talk to people and engage with people that sometimes I really didn't want to talk to. And it was a skill set that I struggled with. You know, I struggled with, you know, showing a lot of people respect at times when they really didn't deserve it. You know, because sometimes, like I said, a lot of people can look down on fast food restaurants and not really have a lot of empathy for the people that work there. I understand that role. I understand what it feels like. I understand what the concept of being a fast food employee what it means and what it feels like day to day and how much, you know, how many tips you get and, and whatnot. I was lucky enough to get roughly around $300 in tips the whole entire summer. I just would take the ones, the fives, the tens, the twenties sometimes and just, you know, put it in my drawer right next to my bed and just stacked up the cash over the summer. So that was exciting. And being a busboy, sometimes you usually don't get tips, but I did sometimes. And it just taught me a lot. It taught me how to treat people with respect when they didn't deserve it. Uh, customer service, how to talk to people, how to work on a team. And fast forward now, I'm actually a software engineer. I work in sales. And so it's just, it just looking back on my journey, it shows that, you know, with a little bit of hard work and being grateful and being humble, you can go from the lowest points to some of the highest points in your life. And that customer service that I've had with me from you know the experience I've had being at, working at CC's has always stuck with me. I've never lost that concept of where I come from. I'm, I'm grateful my mom pushed me to have that job. That first job taught me a lot. It taught me how to work hard, how to be humble, how to treat people, how to work on a team, how to how to not lose your cool. I even had a situation where a gentleman had came in one day. He was with one of his friends, and he actually had conducted himself in a way and had said a racial slur to me and I was taken back because I didn't know how to respond. But it showed me that some people still have different mindsets in this world. And I was like, okay, this year, you're gonna have to deal with this probably your whole entire life. So just start, develop, start developing thick skin and learn how to not necessarily take it, but how to respond in a positive manner to not lose your cool and not to lose out on opportunities because of somebody else being fooled. And so looking back on that first job, it was a lot of good times, a lot of bad times. I would go home and bring a lot of pizza left over with my coworkers. Some of the coworkers I actually went to high school with or they went to, to a high school across town. So I knew a lot of the people I worked with developed some good relationships that I still kind of use to this day. And I think it taught me a lot. It taught me how to really, really understand where you're at and where you want to be in the future and the steps necessary to get there. And I'm so grateful my mom pushed me to do that. And now that I'm an engineer, I look back at those times like, hey, look, I've came a long way, but that job is still a part of me. And I know that when I go out to eat or I'm engaging with somebody that works in a restaurant or a fast food place, to always treat them with a lot of respect because their job is not easy. And I once was in their shoes and I understand. So with that, I want to close out. It's your boy, Dayton Dean. 
This is another episode of Uncrowded Recruit. Thank you for watching. Please subscribe, like, and comment. We have a lot of more content coming out, some more relevant topics that add value to you and your life. So I cannot wait. So if you could just help me out with the algorithm, share this video, tell somebody about me and my story, I would love to. So I can't wait to see you guys again. Thank you. Peace out.